Audio sign. Sound check. Sound check. All right. I'm Mr. Lysak, and I'm excited to tell you what we have going on today. But first, I gotta hike you, Kiara, over and Mama, woo, to the other side. But woo! I right, just kidding. Watch, I can even dance out here. Yay! We did it with both of them. On to the show. Today we're down at McKay Park and we have a rare opportunity. And that is the water is so low down here. In fact, if you look over here, any of you who've been following me for a while, these are the rapids where the surfers were at where I ended up crushing my hand. I fractured it, almost broke it. But with the water level so low today, there is not as much force and pressure in these little tide pools and rivers. I'm actually gonna be able to sink in them today, do a lot more searching, and see if we can actually find that GoPro the surfer was talking about that one day. Now I do have some sad news today, and that sad news is Kiera has lost her voice. Today's dad joke of the day, why does Peter Pan always fly? Oh, why dad? Why does Peter Pan always fly? That's my impression of Kiara, by the way, which she sounds nothing like that. Because he never lands. Oh, dad jokes are so stupid, aren't they? On that note, on that joke, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. you in a minute about rivers and what we call eddies. Normally water flows down river, right? Well rivers have what's called eddies. So if you see this, the water is actually going upstream at this point. And normally eddies happen around rocks. So you have rocks, the water comes over, the water gets pushed down, but then underneath you have an eddy and you have eddies that come around the rocks. And it's because of those eddies that rivers are actually really dangerous. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen at home, don't be doing what I'm doing unless you know what you're doing. All right, later, later.
That amazing, beautiful typewriter that I got for you. You excited about that one? The memoir of Mr. Lysak. Started in September 1975, Mr. Lysak came into the world. And things were never the same after that, were they? In 1995, Mr. Lysak married Kristen, his high school sweetheart. They had two beautiful, amazing girls, Kiara and Malia. Today's message today, stars. Students today aren't ready for sex. See, says so right there. Okay, keep that in mind, kids. Today was the day of shark fins, or surf fins, or whatever types of fins we call it. I don't even know, but I got like, I don't know, two, four, six, eight of them. Along with those two pairs of sunglasses, kind of dirty and kind of not going to work. But what I can do is I can call down to the local sunglass shop on my new cell phone, which is definitely toasted. Couple of bottles, maybe a vase. Well, no, it has a screwy, screwy lid, so that's not a vase. It's a jar of some sort. Enjoy yourself if you like. And I think that in this bottle here, that yeah, might be some homemade river moonshine. I ended up with that amazing bicycle, which I'm kind of jealous. If I would have had this one back in the day, I might have actually been a cool kid, but I wasn't. Instead, I was just home working on my memoir, typing Mr. Lysak's life story. And to that, we're going to come to an end. And it goes a little something like this. If you've not already done so, make sure to subscribe. Turn on the little bell notification. That way, you can instant notice anytime we upload a new video just like this one. That's it for now. Later, later. Over and out. Bye-bye. Down. Do, do, do.